Well, this is our facts of Mars. A new study from Oxford University in the UK suggests that there's no such thing as E.T. We're unique in the universe. Really? And I can break this down. This is a long, complex article. They've used two things. One is the Fermi Paradox, which says that because all the worlds, you know, billions of worlds that are in the galaxy, we should have contacted E.T. by now, but we haven't. And the Drake Equations, which... Drake Equation predicts the number of habitable worlds and ones that can produce life that can contact us. And they've concluded that by combining those two, there is no other intelligent life in the universe. Uh, well, let's see. There are people who... just unbelievable numbers of people who've seen these things up in the sky, including myself, and have concluded there's something going on up above. That's number one. Number two is... Uh, some of us have woken up with these marks on our bodies we can't explain. Some of the people do wake up with them and remember their experiences. Being experimented on by these uh, little gray bastards, for instance. And that's number two. Number three, if you look at SETI, what you'll learn is that they actually scan the skies for a very narrow research band. They use the hydrogen frequencies is what they figure is that would be the way E.T. would try to call us. You know, if I was looking for E.T., I would look for ambient noise. I wouldn't look for they're trying to call us, per se. I wouldn't say I wouldn't look for it, but that would be a sideline. Now, I'm going to say something. I've said this before. I stand by it. And I am not backing away from this. I saw an object over Monroe County, New York in 2013 that was too big to be an airplane. Much too big. I've never seen anything like it before or since. It's just, there is a video on it, uh, March 6th, 2013, UFO sighting Monroe County, something like that. It's on my channel. I did a simulation of what I was seeing because I was driving, no chance to photograph it. I am not backing away from that, and no fancy researchers from Oxford University are going to convince me I didn't see it. I don't care what your degrees are, I was there, you weren't. They're just taking these numbers from the Fermi Paradox, like you said, and the Drake Equations and concluding there's no nothing like E.T. We have billions of galaxies with billions of stars each. Nope, nothing there, nothing to see here. Yeah, they sound like uh, medieval... They sound like medieval uh, religious leaders, to be honest with you. That's what they sound like. This is absurd. It's ridiculous. Remember, the Fermi Paradox claims that we uh, should have contacted E.T. by now, but we haven't. And I disagree with that sharply. I think we most certainly have. You know, militaries, especially our military, has been known to pursue these things all too frequently. And Drake Equations are about calculating the number of habitable planets and how they should, how many of them could be uh, attempting to contact us 
You can't just look on look for deliberate signals on the hydrogen band and assume nothing else counts. You have to listen to amp for ambient noise. Uh there's one expecting uh, deer to call th right to you. Or do you listen for ambient noise? Duh. I don't know, this is just utter nonsense, but it's a good mad, sci mad science update. I suspect that these are uh, liberals who just want us to worship the communist state, but I can't prove it. Alright, that's our mad science update. Keep looking at the skies, there's something up there. I'm Artifacts of Mars, and I stand by that message. Thanks for watching.